Hello everybody. I hope everyone is doing so well. I just wanted to tell you how much I miss each of you. I miss seeing your faces and getting hugs. And the thing I miss the most is hearing all about your weeks and what you guys have been up to. Now, if you notice, I am not at church. And my guess is you're not at church either. I am sitting in the middle of my dining room. And if I had to guess, my guess is you're sitting at home too. And even though I'm in my home and you're in your home, it doesn't mean that we can't continue to learn about God and his word, the Bible. So today I wanted to take a few minutes and I wanted to teach you our Sunday school lesson for this week since we won't be at church together. So the first thing I want to do is I want to review a little bit about what we've been talking about. So a few weeks ago, if you remember, we were in the Old Testament. And now we are in the New Testament, which means our stories are all about Jesus. So a few weeks ago, we heard all about the genealogy of Jesus. And remember, the genealogy is like who your parents are and who your grandparents are. And we looked at the whole line of Jesus and all the different people that were part of his family and how that was all part of God's plan. Now, today our story that we're gonna talk about is from Luke 2. Now, there's another really famous story that's also found in Luke chapter 2. And I want you to think for a minute if you can think about what story that is. It's at the very beginning of Luke 2. If you guess the Christmas story, you are correct. Now, our story today takes place after the Christmas story in Luke 2. In our story today, we are gonna talk a little bit about Jesus when he was a child or a baby. Now there's not many stories in the Bible about Jesus' childhood or when he was a baby. There's a lot of stories about when he was a grown man. So this is a very special story that God chose to put in the Bible for a very special reason. Now this story has a lot to do about someone who waited. So I want you to see if you can think of a time where you had to wait for something that you were looking forward to. Now, my family just got back from Disney World and we had to wait a lot of times to ride a ride that we really wanted to ride. And I know we'd get in line and as the line kind of moved up a little bit, we would grow more and more excited to ride the ride at the end of the ride. Now, usually that didn't take more than an hour, so we didn't have to wait very long. But sometimes in life, there's stuff that you have to wait longer than an hour or a day for. So I want you to think about something that maybe you've had to wait for for more than just a day. Maybe something that you looked forward to over many, many days. Can you think of something like that? Well, sometimes it's looking forward to a special trip. Or maybe it's sometimes counting down the days until Christmas. Or maybe your birthday even. And those are all wonderful things to wait for. Now, in our story today, there is a man. And this man loved God very much. But this man had to wait a very, very long time to get what he wanted. But God was faithful and God gave it to him. Now, our story takes place today at the temple in Jerusalem. And we know that Jesus had earthly parents. We know that he had a father, Joseph, who was his father here at earth. And we know that his mother was Mary. And we also know in the story that baby Jesus was about five weeks old. So I have a very tiny baby Jesus here. Now, Mary and Joseph loved God very much and they wanted to obey all the laws and rules that God had. So God gave Moses some laws a long time ago in the Old Testament that people then still follow. And one of the laws was that after you had a baby, you would take the baby to the temple and you would get, bring a sacrifice and you would offer a sacrifice to God and you would dedicate your baby to God for his use. Now, a lot of times we've talked about sacrifices before. You could take a sheep or a goat, but those are things that maybe people who had more money took. But God said another sacrifice you could also bring if you didn't have a sheep or a goat would be to take two birds. And so I didn't, couldn't find two matching birds, so I picked these birds. So the Bible tells us that Mary and Joseph, with following the law of Moses, took baby Jesus when he was about five weeks old to the temple to offer a sacrifice to God. And they took two birds with them. Now, 
There's another character in our story today, and his name is Simeon. Now, Simeon, I even picked a good one. The Simeon was an old man, the Bible tells us, and it says he was very devout. He loved God very much and would give his whole heart to God and to following God's ways. God made a promise to Simeon back many, many years ago when Simeon was a young man that he would not die and leave the earth until he had met the Messiah. Now, if you remember, this was a very big promise because the people in the Old Testament had been hearing prophecies about this coming Messiah. And there was about 400 years where the people, the Israelites, they didn't hear anything from God. But Simeon knew in his heart that he would see this Messiah before he died. So I don't know exactly when God told him this, but the Bible does tell us that he waited and waited a very long time. And I'm sure every year as he grew a little bit older, he wondered more and more about when God was gonna fulfill his promise. Well, the Bible says he woke up one morning at his house and he, the Holy Spirit in him, told him that he should go to the temple on this day, the same day that Mary and Joseph were going to the temple. Some people might not call that a coincidence or something that just happens and didn't that work out. But we know with God there are no coincidences and that God has a special plan for everyone. So on the day that Mary and Joseph brought baby Jesus to the temple, Simeon also came. And the Bible tells us that when Simeon saw the baby, he knew it was the Savior. Now, Simeon also said some things to Mary and Joseph. Simeon blessed the baby and said that this baby would save everybody, all people, people Israelites and people who weren't Israelites, and that he was going to be a wonderful blessing to many. And that made Mary and Joseph very happy. But the other thing that Simeon said was he told Mary, you are going to be, you're going to have such a joy raising your child, but you will also have great sorrow and sadness. And that's because I believe he knows what's going to happen to baby Jesus when he gets older. So he leaves the temple and someone else comes. Someone else who had been waiting a very, very long time. This is a woman by the name of Anna. And we have an Anna in our jam city, but this is a different Anna. This is a woman who was married and she was a widow, which means her husband passed away. And the Bible actually tells us that her husband passed away when she was pretty young. After her husband passed away, it tells us that she was at the temple every day, praying and praising God and spending all of her time worshiping God. Now, while she was there, she also saw baby Jesus. And she was so happy because God told her that it was the Messiah that she was meeting and her heart was so, so happy. The Bible tells us that after Anna met baby Jesus and knew he was the Messiah, she went away into a different part of the temple and started telling everyone that the Messiah was here and the prophecy of him coming was being fulfilled, which was wonderful news because the people had waited a very, very long time. The Bible tells us that after Mary and Joseph dedicated baby Jesus in the temple and did everything according to the law of Moses, they went back to the town of Nazareth where they lived. And there it says in the Bible, and the child, meaning Jesus, grew and became strong and filled with wisdom and favor of God and with the favor of God was upon him, which means God was very pleased with his son. Boys and girls, what an amazing story about one waiting and knowing that God fulfills every one of his promises, just like he did to Simeon. And two, how Anna was so joyful that she was able to meet Jesus, that she went out and she told everyone that she had met the Messiah and that he was here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to review our Bible verse this week. And it's actually an Awana verse. So if you do Awana, you may already know this verse. It's John 1, 1 through 2. And it says, in the beginning was the word. And we know that when it says word, that it's actually talking about Jesus. So we could say, in the beginning was Jesus. And the word was with God, or Jesus was with God. And the word was God because of the Trinity. And he was in the beginning with God. So we know that even though our story is about Jesus coming to earth as a baby, that Jesus was also with God in the beginning and that 
he was with God in heaven. Our big picture question for all of our stories in this unit is, is Jesus God or human? And we know that as the Son of God, Jesus is both fully God and both fully human. Boys and girls, what a wonderful story. Let's take a minute and let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for today, and we thank you that even though we are not at church, that we can still learn and study you and learn the same things together, just like we know you'd want us to do. I pray for each boy and girl that you would give them a wonderful week, that you would help them to find ways to be helpful to their moms and dads and to helpful to their neighbors around them. In Jesus' name, amen. Boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful week, and I really hope that maybe we'll get to see each other in person next week. But if we don't, I'll make another video for you. All right, guys, I love you. Goodbye.